Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I'm doing my haul for July and August. So this is everything that I purchased in those two months. I don't have, I, I mean, there's a bit to go through, but I don't have too much to show you. It's, it's kind of a, you know, medium sized haul. So if you wanna know what I picked up in July and August makeup wise, then stay tuned or makeup and skincare. It's like makeup, skincare, home care this time around. Stay tuned, but before we get into the video, if you are new around here and you wanna see more content from me in your subscription feed, then make sure you're subscribed down below so you can keep up to date on all my videos when they go live. And without further ado, let's jump on in to the haul. Okay, so as you guys have already seen in July, I picked up the Beauty Bay mystery box. So you guys have already seen that unboxing. If you haven't, I will leave a link up in the corner to that video. I'm not gonna recap all of that stuff again because you've already seen most of it. But in that order, I did also pick up one extra item and I hinted at this in my unboxing of my mystery box. I decided to finally pick up this one right here. I've been lusting after this palette for quite a while. This is the Beauty Bay Midnight uh, palette. This was a purple palette that came out in that like trio bundle of palettes that they brought out earlier on in the year. There was a green one, a purple one, and a pink one. I decided to pick up the purple one. Now, again, in those, in that collection, each color story had different size palettes. So there was a 42 pan, a 16 pan, and a nine pan. I decided to go for the 16 pan in the purple, uh, just because the nine pan wasn't entirely everything that I wanted from all of the swatches that I'd seen. They, like my favorite colors weren't included in the nine pan. And then I didn't get the 42 because I thought the 42 was just far too big from like one color story. So I thought that 16 pans was like a nice little sitting in the middle. So it is like a blue purple color story. There's kind of two rows of blue in this one and two rows of purple. Uh, and I think it looks beautiful. I haven't actually used this yet. I've had it for like a month and a half now and I still haven't used it, but I was thinking that I might use this in a video with all of my other Beauty Bay stuff. So I might do like a first impressions of Beauty Bay makeup using the stuff that I got from the mystery box and then using this palette as well. In that video, I have some regrets about my unboxing. I know I didn't swatch everything in my unboxing and there was a purpose for that because I mentioned in my video that I didn't think I was gonna use everything. So I was only swatching or like opening things that I knew that I would use. I swatched the larger palette and like as soon as I put my fingers in that palette, I had like almost instant regret. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that palette. Um, now that I've like stuck my fingers in it, I, I feel bad like, I'm gonna have to see if somebody wants it or maybe I might try and sell it or something like that. I'm just vibing this a lot more than the other palette. That was purchased in July. And then I think my last purchase for July was this one right here. So I did make a purchase from a candle company. Uh, I purchased some candles from Stump & Co. Now Stump & Co came on my radar from one of you guys. I was um, seeking candle recommendations and one of you guys mentioned um, Stump & Co. Now Stump & Co is actually, where are these guys based again? They are Queensland based. I believe that they're from Gympie. I think they're in the Gympie area or maybe the Sunshine Coast, let's say. I don't think it says, but they're definitely they're definitely Queensland based. They are like small ba smaller batches, they're hand poured and the scents that they have available on their website are phenomenal. <laughs> so to start off with, I did pick up this one. This was the Sweet Fig. So this is Fig, Peppermint and Cassis Berry. I've been burning this one like absolute crazy since I got it. And even like my husband, I leave this on like our um, kitchen bench. My husband, like he'll get home from work and <laughs> light it if I haven't already. So we have burnt like a huge amount of this one. It smells really nice. A fair word of warning when it comes to this brand of candles though, they are wood wick candles. So the biggest size you can get in these is the two wick. They are supposed to be 55 hours. They are 
520 grams. So they're about the size of a glass house candle. The scent throw is amazing. Like the scent throw is phenomenal. They are soy wax, they're eco wood wicks. They are extremely noisy. <laughs> this is the loudest candle I have ever had. Um, and my, like, we'll be sitting watching TV and my husband is always commenting to me, like, that candle is so bloody loud. Um, so you can definitely hear, like, the flicker and the burning of the candle. So if you don't like being able to hear your candles, I probably would steer clear of basically all of their candles because their wicks are very loud. They are amazing candles. They're really, really great quality. And like I said, I've been burning this one like crazy nonstop and I still have a decent amount left of these. Um, so I did purchase two when I made my first purchase. So I purchased that one and I purchased one of the coffee ones, but I um, gave the coffee one to a friend as a birthday gift. So that was that purchase. And as I said, I believe that may have been everything I purchased in July. Moving into August, I made a purchase from Sephora and a purchase from Adore Beauty and another purchase from Stomp & Co. So starting off with my purchase from uh, Sephora, I purchased a, a refill of my ultraviolet uh, Supreme screen. I purchased this during the 20% off sale that they had. I think it was like around the start of July. No, around the, it was like either the very tail end of July or the start of August, I purchased this. And um, Ultraviolet have actually upgraded the size of their packaging. They used to only be 50 mil, now they're 75 mil. So really great to see them make the, the size of the packaging bigger. And I don't think they really... They may have increased the price by only a couple of dollars, um, but it hasn't hasn't like blown out massively. Got one of these and I love the Supreme Screen. Supreme Screen's my favorite. I think now I've tried every sunscreen that they have and I think hands down Supreme Screen is my favorite. So I made that purchase and then my purchase from Adore Beauty was just um, for refills essentially. So I am almost out of my shampoo. I think I probably have one more, maybe one or two uses left in my shampoo. And I'm really, really enjoying the one that I purchased last time from Adore Beauty. So I just decided to buy another bottle of that while they were having a sale. I think Kevin Murphy was 15% off during the sale. So I decided to pick up another one and I've been using the Kevin Murphy Angel Wash. This is the shampoo for fine um, hair and it's supposed to be color safe. I've, I've found that this has been going really well with my hair. So grabbed another one of them. The only thing is I don't totally love the packaging on this. I wish you were able to buy it like in a pump bottle. You probably can buy a salon size in a pump bottle just Adore Beauty don't stock them. So it might be something that I, maybe I might have to check out at any of my um, like salon supplier stores that I have like memberships with. Maybe they might have the bigger bottle size. And then I also restocked um, from Skin Institute. I purchased another bottle of the Laser Aid that I've been using. So I've mentioned a couple of times already this year that I um, have got some um, laser hair removal packages that I'm working through. Um, I purchased um, packages for various areas of my body in their um, like New Year sale. So it ended up being a really good deal. Uh, but basically every time you go and get laser, they recommend you using the laser aid and it really helps reduce like the redness. So I find it on my legs, I get uh, kind of like a prickly hot feeling on my legs like the the next couple of days after the session and then sometimes I do also find um, like red spots coming up so this I have found really helps reduce that like that that like uncomfortable feeling and that like heat in in your part like on your body from the laser and it helps like your skin recover a lot quicker. Um, and then I also have found uh, great results from using the glycolic scrub from Skin Institute. So this is the 14% uh, glycolic scrub. This is like 
a hefty scrub. It's super thick, but I have found um, like if I start using this like at once to twice a week from a week after my laser, this also really helps reduce ingrowns. It really helps reduce the red bumpies that you can get sometimes from laser. I would recommend this even for those of you that shave or wax if you find that you're getting lots of ingrowns or you're finding that you're getting a lot of like razor burn or anything like that. Maybe use this like a week or so after um, you've done your hair removal and it might help um, reduce down your any kind of skin irritation because it, it gets in there and it like eats out the, the gunk in the pore and it um, frees up any ingrowns that you're getting. So I've found that's been really good for preventing ingrowns, helping with, with ingrowns and also helping with any skin texture or bumpiness that I'm, I've been getting from my skin reacting to the laser, if that kind of makes sense. And then I also picked up the skin's Skin Institute, uh, I believe this is the eye serum from Skin Institute. It says it's supposed to be for puffiness, dark circles, and lines. I'm almost out of my Charlotte Tilbury um, cryotherapy eye cream, and I thought that I might give something else a try. Uh, I do really like the Charlotte Tilbury eye cream. I find it's really nice for the texture around my eyes. Um, I just have found I've just been thinking that maybe I might want to try and find something that may help like kind of assist with the fine lines around my eyes or even just try and like prolong them from getting worse, if that makes sense. I mean, it's inevitable. I'm aging. It's going to happen eventually. Like we're all aging. We're going to get lines eventually. But I'm just, I don't know, I'm just trying to see if I can find something that's a little bit more um, science based in terms of you know, the ingredients and whatnot. And maybe we might have to find something that just helps a little bit more than the Charlotte Tilbury one. But you know, if I don't like this one, I probably will go back to the Charlotte Tilbury one because I actually really like it. In that order, obviously I got my Team Tam and obviously I've already eaten it, but I did get a sample card of the Clarins uh, Beauty Balm. So this comes with the Beauty Flash Balm and the Blue Beauty Flash Peel. So two decent size samples in there. And also because I purchased three products from Skin Institute or it was over a certain price, something like that. It was like buy three, get this deluxe sample or spend over a certain price and get this sample. But I got a sample of the Skin Institute uh, Reset Skin Firming Peptide Serum. That is a little 10 mil sample. So I made another purchase from Stump & Co throughout August because they were having a sale. So they were having a sale of buy a full-size candle so one in the glass jar the same as the one that I purchased in July and get a refill for half price so one thing that got me really into looking into Stump & Co was their refill aspect so I'm going to explain that to you in a minute but the full-size candle that I picked up was the lemongrass candle so this has lemongrass lemon and lime in it and oh my god this smells so good it smells amazing i love things that are really like fresh lemongrass lemon lime like just really gives you like a really happy kind of uplifting vibe and this hands down has that it smells phenomenal i just cannot explain how good these candles smell and the scent throw is pretty good as well i really i really like the scent throw so now refill wise um, this is what they come like. So the ones that when you buy them in a glass come like this. Refills come just like wrapped up in uh, tissue paper and essentially they're like a naked candle. So basically what you do once you completely burn out one of these candles, so this one will probably be my replacement. Once you burn it out completely, they say to basically get rid of anything that's left over in there chunks wise. Get your hairdryer and just like um, melt down any stuff that's around the edges, give it a good wipe out with paper towel or a cloth or anything like that. And then you can just drop your new candle into the glass jar and Bob's your uncle, you're ready to go again. So you're not wasting a lot of glass jars um, like you do when you buy glass house candles. <laughs> I love glass house candles and like I have lots of the jars lying around the place but it gets to the point where, you know, you can only find so many things to do with 
the glass jars and eventually you have to start throwing them out. And when it came to the glass house ones, the ones that were just like plain and boring, I would throw out and I would only keep the special ones. Whereas at least these ones, I can refill them. And I love, I absolutely love and adore the refill aspect of them. Now the refill that I purchased, the only thing is the refill version from Stump & Co, it's not that much cheaper than buying the full size with the glass jar. But I just, I just can't get over the fact that you, you don't have to waste so much glass. So I really, really appreciate that fact. So to be honest, I, I, don't, I don't really care if I'm not saving like a bucket load of money buying the refills. I just really appreciate the fact that they have been able to come up with this system where they can offer refills and it's just much more environmentally conscious. So yeah, the one that I got in the refill was fresh brew, fresh brew, basically coffee. Another thing they do when they send you a refill, they send you like a sticker label. And again, this is completely optional. There's a, um, there's a option on their website that if you don't want the label, you can tick it and they won't send you another label. But given that I have a different flavor here, I thought that I would opt for the label. So for fresh brew, it says the scents are coffee bean, malt and almond. And I can smell this so strongly through the wrapper. I cannot wait to burn this. It smells, oh my God, it smells so good. And I just feel like this, when I burn this, I'm probably gonna constantly be drinking coffee because it's gonna make me wanna buy a, buy a coffee or be drinking a coffee, make a coffee like every five minutes. It smells so good. I feel like this would be the perfect candle to burn in the morning. Oh, it's just so good. And then last but not least, I just wanted to share my little Beauty Loop uh, bonus gift for the month. And I, I'm just letting you guys know that if you are a Beauty Loop member, um, this is an option for you guys to go pick up. I believe it's only for level three and four. Do you guys know that there's a level four now? We'll talk about that in a second. But it is basically a mini of the... Um, the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. It's the, I think it's a 75 mil, did it say on the jar somewhere? Yeah, so it's a 75 mil jar. FYI, if none of you guys want your level three gift, hit me up. <laughs> because I love this stuff and I am all about getting Bum Bum Cream as free gifts from Mecca. Um, I think it's a brilliant gift. But like I said, I believe it's only a gift for levels three and four. Now, speaking of Mecca Beauty Loop, I don't know whether you guys saw, but Mecca has introduced an additional level to their Beauty Loop program. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, there is no way on earth that I am ever going to reach level four because it is absolutely insane and ridiculous, the price level to reach for level four. So to reach level four, you have to spend $3,500 at Mecca every single year. And I think that is absolutely insane. For level three, I believe it's $1,200 to $3,499.99, which I just think is a such a wide range, like price range to have for level three. And then level four being such a high ticket value of three and a half thousand dollars. I just want to throw it out there that I know it's quite easy to spend a lot of money on makeup every year. I myself do it. And I know it's also quite easy to spend a lot of money at a place like Mecca. But can I just advise you and encourage you guys to just look for some deals? Because if you're spending that kind of money at Mecca, I 110% can guarantee you that you can be saving a bucket load of money if you just simply look around and shop elsewhere. If you're just a little bit more savvy with your shopping, I 110% can guarantee that you can save yourself some more money. I would really like to encourage you, I would really encourage you guys to do some more research about brands that you're regularly buying from Mecca. I know there are some brands, especially for us here in Australia, that you can't buy elsewhere and that's fine. That's generally what I buy from Mecca and that's how I'm able to reach to that like threshold because there are certain brands that you can't buy anywhere else in Australia or you can't get shipped from anywhere else to Australia. But I just highly encourage you guys 
to do some more shopping around, just some more looking around, find yourself a coupon code, find yourself a sale, wait for a sale. Sephora, Adore Beauty, there's so many brands that regularly have sales or regularly have sales on certain brands at certain times of the year. There's always afterpay sales. There's always end of financial year sales. Just please be a little bit more savvy with your shopping and don't spend three and a half thousand dollars at Mecca, all right? It's not worth it to spend that much money at one store. They don't value your loyalty. You guys see me unboxing Mecca Beauty Loot boxes on this channel every quarter and you guys can 100% see that the value is not there from those boxes. It just doesn't translate from how much money you're spending to what you get in those boxes. So please shop around, save yourself some money. That's, that's the tip of this video. <laughs> So that is everything that I picked up in July and August. I'm really trying to minimize my spending for the re for the remainder of the year. I, I think that's going to be my goal. And I really want to try and not buy as many palettes for the rest of the year. So I do think I'm going to try and go on somewhat of a low buy. There are a few eyeshadow palettes that I kind of already have my eye on that I probably will purchase. But other than that, I want to be really more conscious about my purchasing from now until the end of the year. I want to try and save a lot more money and be a little bit more conscious about the spending. And the only like caveat to that is probably Black Friday sales. But I do think this year for Black Friday, I'm probably going to somewhat restrict myself only to purchasing replacements. I don't think I really want to go wild like I normally do at Black Friday, spending lots of money on lots of different brands. I think I just really want to restrict myself. Oh, I forgot to mention, August as well, I did purchase the Charlotte Tilbury Mystery Box. Again, I'll link up in the corner my unboxing of the Charlotte Tilbury Mystery Box. It was actually a really good value box. I know I literally just went on ranting about money that I want to try and save but if you guys have any other mystery boxes that you would like me to unbox or have a look at and you know consider for an unboxing video let me know what they are down in the comments box because I, I have actually really enjoyed I have actually really enjoyed um, those unboxing videos so I'd be open to some unboxings if there are any other mystery boxes that you are interested in. Let me know what products you picked up in July and August. Are you going on a low buy like I am? Are you going to join me on my low buy? If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you are new around here and you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe down below so you can keep up to date on all my future videos. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I hope you are staying safe, healthy and looking after yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.